Code Geass has announced that it's going to be continuing on for 10 more years after the new Code Geass Lelouch of the Resurrection movie. And being a big Code Geass fan myself, I thought I'd make a video talking about some things I'd want to see in these new 10 years. Now, they are very vague as to what this 10 years will be. Um, they just said that the franchise will continue on for 10 more years. There's a 10 year plan and we don't know anything else at the time of recording. So, uh, I've been very vague in the things that I want to see in these 10 years. Some of them are full on anime, some of them are questions I want answered, and some of them are sort of themes I want to build up. I have six things here today. They're not in any particular order, um, but because it's a list, I have to stick numbers on them. So that's why there's going to be numbers here. But number one, the explanation for where Geass came from. Code Geass loves to do world building. It loves to build up its universe. Uh, it loves to explain as much as possible so that you can analyze all the battles and little details. It doesn't go as far as some Gundam media goes, but it does go pretty close as a lot of mecha anime do. I want to know the origin of Geass because Geass has popped up everywhere but we really don't know where it first came from. So uh, I know it's been referenced that it's like the power of the king or something like that. So who was this king? It, is it the Jupiter god thing? Is it that collective co unconsciousness? Where did Geass come from? And don't say, Oh, they want to leave Geass. Uh, unexplained, it's just there. If that was the case, they wouldn't have the weird Geass God thing in Akito the Exile. Hopefully, we might get answers to that question. Number two, a story set in the far future. I'm talking Earth has begun to colonize space. Let's get some Code Geass in space. Already, the Code Geass show has been a, like, a slope of growth, um, for, technologically wise, you know. They go from robots that come down from the skies are on treads and all and all that or wheels and stuff like that and by the end of the show they're flying around the sky and there's this big spaceship type thing so it looks like the code Geass universe is technologically gearing up for space so let's see that carried out let's go to the far future maybe some characters are the the characters we know have died already of old age and stuff like that maybe we see Nunnally as a really old woman or the Empress of China or to see them as old people but it's about a new generation, uh, the new year of Code Geass. Uh, and we could do, see space colonization. We could see sort of the thing that uh, Gundam Zeta did, where there's like the Neo Zeon people. We can have Neo Britannians, uh, maybe like loyalist to Lelouch's cause. And like, uh, if Lelouch, since he has the code, if he's, if he's still alive at this time, Lelouch has to face the consequences of his actions, seeing f uh, fanatics, f fanatics that have rose up. Uh, in his legacy and uh, remember we can still have Suzaku in this because Suzaku is under the Gios order to live and we can explore how exactly Suzaku's live command works and if it makes him effectively immortal um, so that would be interesting to see number three there is a I think it's called Renya of the Darkness a Code Gios manga set in the 1860s where a lot of the characters just happen to look like Code Gios characters um, like identically, but uh, it's set in the 1860s and it gives a new historical perspective on Code Geass And I for one have a hard time reading the manga just because it looks kind of it's hard to follow for me And me personally, it's hard for me to follow that manga uh, with the art So seeing that animated I think would be very good. We get to see more world building uh, more history of the Code Geass universe and more uh, of the relationship between Japan and Britannia I think that would be interesting to see number four tell me a story from the ground level perspective, from the perspective of the ground troops. Uh, you kind of get that in Akito the Exiled, where you see a specific uh, Europia force, uh, but it's still full of Geass users, it's still full of important people. I want a Code Geass story set in maybe one of the wars, maybe the... there are a lot of wars in Code Geass, one of the wars, that's just a ground unit's perspective. Maybe a Nightmare Frame unit battalion or something like that. Uh, essentially what I want is a Code Geass version of the, uh, what is it, the 08th or 09th MS team. A Gundam series that told the story of the One Year War from the perspective of the soldiers fighting on the ground. They didn't have any freaking, what's, what are they called? And double other innovators. New types? I think that's what the original Gundam called them. There are no new types, there's no, it's just a normal battalion, it's a normal war story. Give me a normal Code Geass 
war story. I think that would be very interesting to see the war from the ground level perspective. Maybe at some point this unit fights in the battle over Mount Fuji and they have to deal with the commands from either Schneisel or Lelouch and, you know, have their own little moral crisis going on uh, during that story. Maybe have the theme be about soldiers, whether they should follow orders of the commanders or do what they know is right. Maybe something like that. That would explore a moral quandary that, like, the entire Code Geass series is... It's based in moral quandaries. Number five, give Shirley a purpose. <laughs> Shirley survived through the movies because of how the recap movies worked, but now we have a Shirley that's in this universe that isn't really doing anything. Let's uh, give Shirley some sort of purpose. I don't know how you're gonna, you, you could give her a purpose, but I think it's just weird to have Shirley survive the movies when she didn't play a role in Lelouch of the Resurrection that's worth noting. I just give her a purpose. <laughs> <laughs> she's just kind of chilling there, just kind of in this weird Schrodinger Shirley where she's supposed to be dead but's alive. And number six, fill out the timeline. There is an extensive Code Geass timeline, but it's kind of wonky, it's kind of iffy, and there are a lot of gaps in it. Uh, maybe throughout these different series or manga or what have you, we can fill out the Code Geass timeline a little bit. Uh, for example, we see a little bit of footage from a World War One type war going on in some of the flashbacks and photos of Code Geass. Uh, what was that all about? I want to learn about that. Did you know that the invasion of Japan is called the Second Pacific War? So if that's the Second Pacific War, what was the First Pacific War? That's something I kind of want to know. Especially, there's a lot more like lore around uh, the invasion of Japan in Code Geass, and I kind of want to see that brought to the screen, you know? I think that's something interesting. I want that timeline filled out. So what do you guys want from Code Geass? Let me know in the comments below in this 10-year plan. Uh, since we've thrown the <laughs> thrown the ending of the series, one of the most prominent endings in the history of anime, we just toss that aside and we're going on with the 10-year plan. If you were in charge of the Code Geass franchise, what would this 10-year plan look like? Leave your comments below. Thank you so much for watching. Make sure to subscribe to the channel if you have not yet. There is content here. Tentatively, we're uploading every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. We do some anime stuff. We do some comic stuff. We do some history stuff, apparently, although there's kind of been a drought of history content on the channel. And then every now and then we do some Transformers stuff, which involves robots, and if you like Kogios, you might like robots. <laughs> and besides that, just general commentary. So yeah, thank you guys for watching. Subscribe if you have not yet. Follow me on social media. Links are in the description, and have... A good day, ladies and gentlemen. Oh, no,